What are we waiting for? Let's bring them back home. exclusive Mama Max cancellation video. So today, uh, my exes are, as always, accusing me of rape, pedophilia, animal abuse, domestic abuse, kidnapping, and whatever else they can attribute to me. <laughs> On April 14th of 2022, a Twitter post was made by Zero, accusing Max of being a crappy boyfriend, an abuser, a stalker, a harasser, a rapist, and a pedophile. On June 4th, I released two videos, both of them featuring Max, which was a dream of mine to say the least. Around July 23rd, a man named Anthony Field, or Magnetar on YouTube, will post a heavily biased video titled The Truth of Mama Max, Abuse, Lies, and Manipulations. The video was basically trashing Max entirely and had three people on the podium. Ailey, Max's ex-best friend who was actually dating Anthony to this day. Lucy, one of Max's ex-girlfriends who doesn't know how to keep her story in order. And Olivia. Another ex-girlfriend of Max that sounds tripper for a rape victim about to talk about the rapist. Haley accused Max of being a harasser, a stalker, being a bit too close to her and her family and Anthony, sexually assaulting her at a hotel, visiting her job to the point where Anthony had to come up and escort him out of the premises of her job, and being a full-fledged crazy person when she mentions how Max sent her ominous messages to both her and Anthony and sent Anthony a video of him cutting his wrists. It was a great talk. I shared on the video that I posted about me doing that thing with my arm. Lucy accused Max of being a stalker, a groomer, and a pedophile and accused him of sexually assaulting her at Six Flags plus accusing him of harboring child pornography. Olivia accuses Max of being a domestic abuser, a stalker, and a harasser. So, right off the bat, Olivia and Lucy are downright lying and downright contradicting the actual truth. But for Haley, I stayed neutral with her. I really did try to stay neutral with her, but now I just don't necessarily believe her at this point. But until new evidence comes out, yeah, Haley, you, you're not on the list no more. I'm sorry. Now, now, on July 29th, Max released a response video titled Belief of Victims. So what have we learned today? Uh, I learned I can make a better and more honest video with more evidence by myself in less than a week than these five people can make in three months. This is basically Max going to each of the exes and debunking every single accusation that they made and admitting some truth into what they said. Max debunked the accusation that was made by Paulina, Lucy, Olivia, Haley, and even Sarah that all made accusations against Max. Like for example, Max debunked how Paulina went above and beyond and tried to make Max a bad person online by using manipulation and contradictory behavior to change the views of Max's fans and to making them turn against Max and using words to make it as if she's doing this for a cause and saying statistically inaccurate statements and other stuff like that. She even assaults people that believe Max's side by calling them an insult or a f wit. How interesting of her. For Olivia, Max debunked how she created these false accusations, all because she was 
mad and she was just being completely spiteful and just a borderline liar and that she just wants to continue telling lies until she has fun i broke up with you literally because you were boring <laughs> to say the least we never hung out we never did anything mm. we never saw each other even though we lived together we never did anything i was bored as shit why all the like why all the weird accusations though like the... because i'm so tired of seeing these fucking 13 year olds making fan edits my ex-boyfriend who made me go fucking crazy because he was fucking crazy so you're being spiteful um i'm being mad <laughs> what if i told what if i told the internet you tried to kill me that i try to kill you <laughs> mm-hmm uh, did i try to kill you no for Sarah, Maximitz, how Sarah will manipulate and lie about anything to make sure that she doesn't go to prison, all because... Sarah repeatedly raped me and physically abused me throughout our entire relationship. This is not something I would say about any of my other exes. As much as I hate them, and as much as I would love to accuse them of that, they did not. Sarah did. Now how exactly did she rape me, you might be wondering. I am both physically bigger and stronger than she is. Well, she would get in bed and start molesting me while I was trying to sleep because most days I had to work early. It didn't matter how much I tried turning away or said no, she would continue. And when I would try to physically throw her off of me, she would scream at me and degrade me, calling me shrimp dick and not a real man if I didn't let her do it. And when I would realize I have no chance of escaping the situation and that it would be easier to just let her do what she wanted to do to me, I would give up and she would continue until I was hard enough to sit on. That is how she raped me. For Lucy, Maxi Bunk, how Lucy will not tell the truth about the relationship since she wants to lie about his age and contradict her own story. She doesn't want to listen to people so that she can control the whole narrative and wants to block CSA survivors who were actually trying to see if she was actually okay and try to get her story of the situation. Go check out the videos by Steve and Spider Centaur if you want to know more about that. Um, for Haley. Max debunked how Haley was correct on some points, which is where like Max like sent Anthony a video of him cutting his wrist due to Max uh, finding out that they were dating and that he did have an obsession with Haley, but contradicted her and Anthony's story altogether, making it impossible to figure out what narrative is she trying to create. Um, and for Anthony, Max literally debunked how um, how he was an alleged pedophile. Apparently, Anthony was a naturally flirty kind of dude in high school. He was a senior, and he and this person were actually really good friends until he sent the person a video of him touching himself and masturbating. And he was asking for pictures from the sophomore student Mind you, the student was at her best friend's house. So it's even more awkward and disgusting if you think about it. Like, just literally imagine you get a video of your friend touching themselves and you didn't even give consent to them to send it. Plus, they're like an adult. Like, what? You're tearing down me because of who I was back then. I have a friend that doesn't talk to me anymore. Her name is Haley. Haley Rasmussen. She doesn't talk to me anymore because she hates me because I'm I was a stupid idiot. But uh, anyways, uh, I just wanted to say to you, sorry. No, please leave me alone. Um. Now, also, before we were shown the text messages from the victim. Max gave us a little QR code that instantly brings us to a letter that reads, 
You decided damning me with lies and blasphemy and design fantasies, deprive me of my privacy and thrive upon my past receipts, but your falsified philanthropy cannot survive reality. You pedophiles still haven't seen the slightest rap of me. I'm sure in time the gravity of what you try will agony your entire life's anatomy. We cannot die. My family who climb from your kinds of apathy, children that have cried in blood this entire line that I breathe will bring you thy calamity. So now, goodbye, Anthony. I literally like have no words. Now, when Magnetar's video came out, I began feeling overwhelmed and honestly scared for Max. Even if I don't know Max personally, I still had fear for him and I worried for him. As a concerned fan of his, I began to contemplate to myself, was I really defending a full-fledged abuser? But then in the back of my head, I had to be logical about everything and see what made sense and what didn't make sense with these accusations. And it caused a whole entire shit show too. People began taking off for the exes after Max came in in full throttle and released that response video calling out every single lie that they made and their misconceptions and also releasing the phone call and testimonies. A couple of Max's exes and some of their friends. I met him initially in November when one of my friends sent him, uh, when one of my friends sent me one of his videos. There were other people in the house she could have talked to, but she was complaining we were out there for over 10 minutes. Actually getting mad at me for talking to my brother I hadn't seen in a long time. I'm talking at the very end, calling up the manager, our boss, multiple times a day to make sure that he was still at work and not playing about, even though he was so absolutely in love and smitten with this girl. I previously talked about in a text document seeing what Paulina has done to Max. Uh, but there were a lot of unfortunate experiences that the entire friend group endured because of her. Yeah. This is hard. I need a minute to, uh... My grief, please. The only things that they have is each other. People who literally sympathize with domestic abusers, for example, Edwin, who literally platformed the exes on a stream and let his little community come after my friends, even if they were trying to just spread awareness for Max. By Steve and Spider Centaur, if you want to know more about that. Oh yeah, and here- If you want to know more about the block button killing people, go check out this other random guy. Okay, will do. <laughs> and another thing, they have a Google Drive that doesn't help with anything, because his drive was made by Lucy, keep that in mind, and that the drive, I believe, has an image of a, it was a screenshot and it, I think it was like on Twitter and then above there was like a milk carton there was like an egg carton and that and then I could have sworn I saw Max's testicles in an egg carton what made you think it was okay to expose something like this their idea of canceling Max had potential right right but they just never showed evidence of him raping them, sexually assaulting them, domestically abusing them, or anything like that of the sort. The evidence literally wasn't shown in the video. And I know that there will be people out there that are going to say, that's going to side with the accent, telling me that they did show evidence in McIntyre's video. But, 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 but. Every single screenshot Haley, Olivia, or even Lucy even shown in the video was completely unnecessary or had nothing to do with anything with their stories. Haley literally showed old images and videos of Max. The only legitimate and important screenshot that was actually necessary from Haley was the police reports. Even though according to Max, he was never charged, he was never arrested, and he was never mailed anything by, you know, the authorities besides a phone call that was telling him to stop stalking Haley. Even though Haley and Max were far apart because Max was like at some type of base or something. Overall, the situation is funny if you're just now looking into it. But if you want legitimate answers and that, and you want to like dive deep within the situation to find out the truth, you're going to feel a bit annoyed and a bit sick, probably even sympathetic because that's how I was when I first looked into the situation in April. Looking at this from Max's perspective, his team's perspective, his family's perspective, and the perspective of like people that knows and loves Max, you can see how heartbreaking and disgusting this situation is. These exes are harassing them all and this harassment has actually really affected Max's team, etc. And it can honestly be even annoying because 
you know that none of the accusations is true, but more upon more accusations continue to appear out of nowhere and you just have this urge to say something. Even though you don't know Max on a personal level, you just want to say something and just be like, what, what in the world are you doing? Good. Like, stop lying. Now, that doesn't mean that I was friends with Max and that I know Max on a personal level. I mean, hey. I mean, I would love to be friends with Max, to be honest with you. Like, Max, if you want to be friends, we can be friends, okay? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the situation is aggravating, to say the least, and it just needs to stop. And I bet that if this situation continues, which I hope it doesn't, Max will probably have to sue them all for defamation, Sarah for physically abusing him and raping him, and Olivia for extortion. In conclusion, the exes just need to sit down and take accountability for what they did and also admit that what that they are doing is defame Max for no apparent reason and everyone needs to stop platforming people that are clearly lying about something that can make them look very incriminating. And Edwin, I'm starting to question your sanity at this point. And Max, I know that Spider Centaur and I have told you in your team that we will support you situation right until the exes have decided to stop right you know but i want to say this again max if you're watching this which i hope you do i want you to know that we understand how upsetting and annoying the situation is to you it's just happening for years we feel your pain and if everyone's pain that was involved and that we hope that you get peace because you deserve it your team deserves it everybody deserves it at this point you deserve it or what, from everything that you do, from everything that your team does, and like you know, and we just hope that this situation just dies out. So that everyone involved can just live their life without having to worry about harassment and being distressed about this. That's just what I have to say. And also, this is what Max has to say about this. Well, making this video is because they have not stopped. Paulina, Olivia, Sarah, Lucy, Haley, and Anthony. Leave me the fuck alone. This made me very upset. Very upset. Maybe even um, more upset than when they told me he was dead. I feel kind of scared. Dude, that's not funny. That's not funny.